So um, I'm John Tucker. I'm the Chief Academic Officer for Southern States, and I wanted to talk a bit about uh, realigning some of our academic management um, at SSU. Um, on an operational level, that means starting with summer quarter, um, summer two quarter, uh, 2009, all faculty have now been issued um, an SSU email address, which is your first initial, last name, at ssu-us.org, and we are, have just finished appointing all of those emails um, that would come into that address to the email account of your choice. We are going to uh, issue a new email policy for uh, SSU faculty. Uh, and staff that's, that is um, consistent with other higher education institutes, institutions. And that is, we're asked that you check your email every business day and that you reply with at least uh, an acknowledgement of receipt within 24 to 48 hours, uh, in particular for students. We would like to think of email as our main um, mode of communication. Uh, we do promise that we will minimize the number of emails we send to all faculty. We want you to know that when you get one from us, it, it's really significant and timely and important, and it's not spam. Okay, so um, uh, that's really important. We've had uh, um, a lot of um, communication issues that really uh, emanate from communication. We're hoping that once we establish um, email as our primary mode of, of communicating, that it'll clear up a lot of communication misunderstandings. I also wanted to just uh, talk a bit about academic integrity. We um, have purchased um, a subscription to turnitin.com, uh, which is being administered by our university librarian to check uh, student papers for plagiarism. And while academic integrity is very important on the student side, it's also extremely important on the faculty side. We need to make certain that all faculty are covering all topics listed on the syllabus, that you really get through all the topics, that there's a midterm and a final, and that the, uh, the grades that you give um, hopefully really do fall along a bell curve, and that students are being appropriately challenged, and that there's some real learning taking place in the classroom. This is, um, of all of the things that concern me at SSU, that's the biggest, that's my biggest concern. Uh, when we look towards uh, accreditation, uh, I, I think the biggest danger of our not being accredited would probably be our own lack of academic integrity. I want to make sure we are thinking of ourselves and acting like an accredited academic institution. We want to support you towards those goals as much as possible. We don't want to appear to be bureaucratic, especially unnecessarily bureaucratic. But we do want to uh, fall within accreditation guidelines, and we want to act like and be like and actually be an accredited American university. Uh, when that happens, um, it means you can uh, accept students uh, who have financial aid. In the United States, about 80% of financial aid to students comes from the federal government in the form of Title IV funding. When you accept public money in the United States, or anywhere, but maybe particularly in the United States, a lot of strings come attached. You have to, you're subject to a federal audit at any moment. Um, when we start accepting a lot of students with financial aid, we can't lose the risk of losing our, stat, our ability to accept Title IV funding. So as we move to a higher uh, a level and um, um, the bar gets raised, I apologize if uh, we appear to become increasingly bureaucratic. What we're really trying to do is, is to, to raise our standards and fall within accreditation guidelines. Thanks.